Elon Musk a couple of days ago called China's space program the most underrated on the planet, and indeed it is. The internet is filled with dozens of daily news about SpaceX, NASA, and other space agencies, but few people know what China is doing and even fewer understand it. Today you will find out why China could become the leading space power by 2030. You are on the Karo Show channel. Enjoy watching. But before we get started, we must tell you that creating this video about China was not an easy task, as their space agency is national, and almost everything they are involved in is strictly classified. Therefore, the actual numbers of launches and plans may differ slightly from those that are publicly available. Let's start with a little background. China, despite the difficult situation after the Second World War, has always fought for third place on the list of space powers. The Chinese launched the first rocket with mice on board into space in 1964, and already in 1970, China launched its first satellite called Dongfang Hong-1. By that time, only the United States, the Soviet Union, France and Japan could boast of such an achievement. In the best traditions of Communist China, the main purpose of the satellite was to continuously broadcast the Chinese national anthem. In the best traditions, China even has its own national definition for astronauts. If in the United States, it is astronauts, in China, it is taikonauts. However, from 1970 to 1987, China postponed its space program to the second and third plans, and concentrated its efforts on improving rockets as weapons. Only in 1988 the Ministry of Space was established in China, and in 1993 the China National Space Administration was formed. It operated on similar principles to NASA, dividing one big agency into multiple smaller government-owned firms operating on a contractual basis. From that point on, everything became very serious. Already in the 1990s, China became a highly respected force in the world of commercial space launches. This was mainly due to the purchase of Soviet RD-120 engines from Ukrainian factories and the training of specialists who established their mass production within China's own territory. From October 20, 1996 to August 16, 2011, China conducted 102 successful launches in a row. The majority of these launches were aimed at commercial purposes, deploying communication satellites for other countries. However, not many people liked the competition in the market. And in 1999, the US Congress prohibited sending into space any American parts on board the Chinese rockets. This, of course, deprived China of a significant market share. But China was already unstoppable. On October 15, 2003, in a ship called the Shenzhou 5, Yang Liwei became the first Chinese in space, and consequently a citizen of the third country after the USSR and the United States, to launch a man into space without using the rockets of other nations. The Shenzhou series of spacecraft continue to fly today. As of 2023, 18 Chinese have already become astronauts using domestic equipment. It is worth mentioning that Chinese equipment has very high quality standards, and the majority of launches, with few exceptions, have been successful. As of April 2023, China's most popular rocket family, Long March, had a total of 457 launches with a success rate of 96.2%. This is certainly less than the 1,900 launches of the Soviet Union, but more than the 233 Falcon 9 launches of Elon Musk. However, Elon Musk single-handedly conquers the global space industry, breaking all the rules. An interesting fact is that as of 2023, SpaceX satellites accounted for 80% of all spacecraft launched by the rest of humanity into space combined. Therefore, it is difficult to determine a clear position for China in the space hierarchy. Thanks to SpaceX, the US will be 100 steps ahead of China in terms of the number of launches of the same satellites and payloads. For example, in 2022, China conducted 64 successful launches, which places them in second position. Russia is in third place with 22 launches, and the United States is in first place with 87 launches. However, if you exclude Elon Musk's SpaceX, NASA would have 26 launches. This is nearly three times fewer than the number of launches by the China National Space Administration. But there is another reason to place China in the first position. This is secrecy and covered operations of the communists. On May 8, 2023, a secret Chinese spacecraft returned to Earth after spending nine months in orbit. Impressive technologies are required for such a long stay in space. Unfortunately, due to the secrecy, nothing can be said about the spacecraft. This raises the question of whether there have been other even more classified spacecraft launches that have not been reported. There are rumors in the scientific community that the orbit is teeming with secret Chinese satellites, and the total number of Chinese launches in 2022 has exceeded 100. However, it is unlikely that we will find out the truth in the near future. Let's move on to the more famous achievements of the Chinese space industry. For example, the Tiangong Space Station, which translates as the Heavenly Palace. On October 31, 2022, it was officially assembled and put into operation. 
thus making China the only country in the world with its own space station at the moment. Previously, only the USSR could boast of such a station. Tiangong is approximately half the size of the International Space Station, but is fully owned by China. The purpose of the Chinese space station and its specific applications are unknown. The official version states that Tiangong is a laboratory and will potentially house a powerful space telescope in the future. However, there are numerous rumors about its theoretical capability to interfere with stations and satellites of other countries. China is also looking beyond the Earth's orbit. In 2007, China became the third country in the world with its own interplanetary station, and in 2013 for the first time in 40 years, it returned to the moon a lunar rover, which is remembered for the fact that after 40 days on the moon it broke down and stopped in place. Nevertheless, the electronic part of the lunar rover was not damaged, and the signals from it were sent to Earth for a long time. But China didn't intend to stop there. On December 16, 2020, the spacecraft Chang'e 5, named after the moon goddess, brought samples of lunar soil back to Earth, which happened for the first time since 1976. Upon careful examination of the soil, scientists discovered a significant amount of water, which became arguably China's most significant intangible achievement in space, thanks to the well-preserved soil sample for extracting water on the moon, thereby facilitating the lives of future colonists from around the world. China also left its mark on Mars. The Tianwen-1 mission, which means questions to heaven, successfully flew to Mars in 2020. The spacecraft carried not only a satellite for photographing and scanning Mars, but also the Zhurong rover, which was named after the god of fire. As expected, all stages of the mission were successful. Over the course of two years of continuous operation, Zhurong has transmitted more than a terabyte of scientific data and traveled more than two kilometers on the Martian surface. Unfortunately, since May 2022, the rover has remained stationary, which was noticed by many vehicles from other countries. China remained silent for a long time, but admitted that most likely the rover was heavily covered with dust and it would not be able to return to work. But this did not affect the success of the mission. China has secured at least second place in the list of leading space powers. China's further plans are simply Napoleonic. Just recently, the head of China's space agency, Zhang Qijin, announced that by 2030 the Chinese will land on the moon, which provoked talks about a new space race, but this time between the US and China. At first glance, the Americans look like the favorites. They have already flown the Artemis spacecraft around the moon in unmanned mode and are planning to launch humans there by 2025. It is possible that China has a similar secret program prepared in secret mode. The country possesses the necessary technologies for such endeavors. Among other plans for 2024, China has announced the launch of an orbital telescope similar to the Hubble. Additionally, there are several missions planned for collecting samples from nearby comets and asteroids. Also, China's plans include devices to Jupiter, the beginning of the construction of a base at the south pole of the moon, and of course, secret measures to destroy enemy satellites from the Earth's orbit of a potential enemy. But this technology has been in China since 2007. But still, it is worth saying that China does not yet have a rocket like Starship. The largest of the available Long March 5 rockets can transport 14 tons of cargo into orbit, certainly more than SpaceX's Falcon 9, which lifts 8 tons, but less than the 26-ton Falcon Heavy. And Elon Musk's Starship can take 150 tons to Mars, even if it is refueled in orbit. China is still significantly behind. Even the SLS rocket from NASA can send 46 tons of payload to the moon, while the most powerful Chinese rocket can send about 10 tons. Traditionally, the minimum bar for sending a man to the moon is considered to be 27 tons of payload. China promises to present something similar by 2027, but the country is far behind on this issue. But still, China has something in which it has no equal. Not so long ago, China adopted the concept of rapid response to threats both in space and on Earth. For this purpose, the Long March 7 rocket was created, an ultralight, reliable, and simple model, capable of launching 7 tons of cargo into orbit. It is analogous to Elon Musk's Falcon 9. In other words, it is an easily producible rocket that can be launched in large numbers. This is what China is planning to do. There are officially 70 launches scheduled for 2023, but China's space agency hints that a record 180 rockets could eventually be launched, which would leave even SpaceX behind. 